Professor Gravich and me switched because I have brought a thematic to talk about and he has. Uh, so I will be the first Nordic Professor Gravich. And uh, thank you, Jesus, for the friend. I have a uh, to have Jesus as a friend. So I will talk about the. Uh, Service in civil and commercial matters, uh, predominantly in EU. Because this question, uh, if there is a say, if a procedure is 90% uh, of the realization of subjective rights, then the service is 90% of procedure. Uh, that will very soon realize our freshly appointed judge, Dr. Eckhart, uh, who will speak later on today. Uh, it is not only the te technical question, it is a uh, question of uh, securing a very important right, uh, right to be heard in the procedure, to have a new procedure. Uh, on the other side, uh, rules on the service uh, quite often enable the one party of predominantly defendant to frustrate other party and the procedure by evasion of uh, service. This is a big problem in national legal systems, for example in, in Croatia as well as in other countries. And it is obvious that that, that problem is more complex at the international level and furthermore among the member states of the EU. Uh, because that problem is uh, present, uh, there is a vast number of bilateral uh, treaties which uh, are dealing with the service. Uh, but for the moment, we will skip that problematic and uh, uh, move on to the multilateral treaties, especially the Hague Convention of 1954 and more specialized convention of uh, 1965 on service, uh, which was generally the base for the EU regulation uh, 1348 of 2000. Generally it was good, although uh, that was a broader reception of the uh, Hague Convention of 1965. And, but somehow the Commission reported in 2004 for the uh, relevant EU bodies that regulation, although it's good, it has to be improved. Uh, what were the indicated problems? Uh, it is said that standard forms are not used always, which is actually not a problem. If we don't use the problems, uh, we can introduce more forms or to deal without forms. It's not necessary for the lawyers to have more forms. Furthermore, they said, failure of the national administrations, uh, administrations to act within the deadlines. Uh, this problem was not resolved with the new regulations also. And uh, the last problem was indicated as high costs and lack of transparency regarding the costs. So the conclusion was uh, that the amount of time was reduced uh, to one to three months. Uh, for the effecting the service, although sometimes the uh, Commission noted that uh, service lasted for six months. I hope this is true, I don't think this is true. I think the service lasts for more than six months regularly. So actually it, this is not a true conclusion of the Commission. I don't believe in, in that. So that was the conclusion and let's make a new regulation. So yeah effective at least to make new regulations all the time. And uh, uh, a little bit more than three years ago, uh, a new regulation for, uh, is on force. Uh, it's uh, 1393 of uh, 2007. And what's new in that regulation? Uh, firstly, we have new forms. So that's one of the novelties. Uh, Actually, that is not relevant, so we have more formula, formula lawyers than we had before. Uh, 
Uh, however, one form, and that form would probably be indicated by Professor Galic, uh, is introduced, uh, and that would go in the direction of the effectiveness of service. Uh, this form in, in, uh, informs a receipt, which does not intend uh, 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 to uh, accept service, uh, that he has the right to re return documents to the receiving agency uh, even within one week uh, if those documents are not written on the language he understands or in the official language of the country where the service has to be effected. Uh, this is sometimes very frustrating for the parties. I can say there is one uh, friend of my daughter who has uh, to achieve divorce in Slovenia because she has a Slovenian husband but she is pregnant with some Bosnian. Uh, so uh, she has a problem with civil register as uh, the true father would not be registered as a father but a Slovenian father. She wants to divorce and uh, she tried, <coughs> the court tried to service some Slovenian uh, defendant who didn't accept service because it was not in Slovenian language, although predominant number of Slovenians understand the Croatian uh, language, so for the moment the father would be Slovenian, furthermore we will see what will happen in the distance. Uh, but there are more serious things than that, that one that I mentioned. Uh, the novelty is also uh, regarding the costs, uh, they say that uh, they have to be known in advance to all the parties. Uh, and the, a number of states uh, uh, gave regulations to the Commission on the costs. Um, a vast number do not charge anything for service, but uh, some countries say they will charge. In France, something like 50 euro. In Scotland, if uh, service is done by the messenger in arms, will be something like 83 euro. And uh, with the postal service, uh, 40 euro. So the Scotlands are not, Scots are not greedy at all. <laughs> this is, is a phrase for Scots. Uh, also, there is a so-called new rule on the speed of service, uh, which consists of, of this phrase: "It will be affected as soon as possible." and the any event within one month, but there is no sanction. If not, receiving <coughs> agency will fill another form and continue with efforts. That is really excellent, the speeding up the procedure. I, I think no other commentary is needed on that provision of the new regulation. Uh, regarding the applicable law, there are no novelties. It's like story or in case of particular methods of uh, service, it can be uh, Lex Cause. And uh, as the other means of service, uh, it follows the rules of the uh, 1965 uh, Convention. So it can be affected by uh, diplomatic or consular agents, uh, but the reservations for the countries are possible. So, uh, uh, the country can oppose uh, to uh, service uh, done by the consular or diplomat agent uh, in case, on, but cannot in case if the service is affected on the national of that country. Uh, of course, countries can uh, make reservations for that provision and uh, some of them did so, uh, among them Slovenia. So, in Slovenia, consular uh, or diplomatic agents cannot uh, affect service except in case of their own nationals. It is a little bit strange uh, the attitude of Slovenia regarding this regulation because Slovenia does not oppose to the same solution on the 1965 Hague, Hague Convention. Uh, uh, Croatia, uh, which is member of that uh, convention, opposes to such method of, uh, of service but Slovenia does not. So for the moment, while Croatia is still not a uh, 
member of the EU, will uh, Croatian Consul uh, can uh, affect service in, in Slovenia without, because uh, we are bound by the 65 uh, Convention. And Slovenian Consul in, in Croatia cannot do the same. However, uh, between the member states, their consuls cannot do that in Slovenia because Slovenia opposed to the regulation. So, proceeds the 1965 uh, Convention in, uh, uh, among the member states. A little bit strange situation. Uh, uh, approximately half of the states of the EU are opposing, and half is not opposing. So, we'll see what's going to happen with that. Uh, something which can be said that is good in question is uh, in, in, in this regulation uh, is that the, uh, it is very clear uh, that the service can be done with the post, uh, with the registered post, and the management of receipt. That would be probably the most uh, used uh, method of service. Default judgments are also possible and uh, uh, more or less situation with default judgments is the same as in the 1965 Convention. However, there is a potential problem which could be of interest for Slovenia and in future for all the Balkan countries which are uh, based on the uh, Yugoslav Code of Civil Procedure. Uh, some two months ago, uh, uh, European Commission uh, indicated that there is a potential uh, discrimination in Polish uh, Code of Civil Procedure and uh, which is also potentially incompatible, incompatible with the Article 18 of the functioning of the EU. Uh, in September, the uh, Commission gave a statement that the uh, Polish uh, uh, code imposes obligation for non-residents to appoint legal representative or proxy for purpose of service. This is the same in Slovenia and uh, more or less all Balkan countries. And if party fails to do so, uh, it will be deemed, uh, the service will be deemed affected uh, when documents are deposited to the court. Or the Commission concludes that this is potentially incompatible with the, uh, Article 18 of the, uh, of the function of the EU treaty. Uh, so, uh, we can expect new revisions of the uh, service regulations, so legislators will work more on those questions, and probably they, will, uh, they indicated that they will try to see what, what, what can be done with the electronic service. Uh, so, on the more of language questions or mystical debates, I leave to Professor Gabriel.